What do you think? Disgusting. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome also to my recording studio. <laughs> I need to find a better setup when I'm adding to these videos outside of our live action shots, so to speak. Um, but so the best lighting and silence where the kids aren't making a lot of noise is uh, to go and hide in the car so far. So we'll have to come up with something better in the future. But for it, you get to enjoy a little chat in my van. <laughs> Make sure to stay tuned to the end when one of our kids, of his own free will, we didn't even dare him, went ahead and actually enjoyed the cutworms. We are beginning our spring operations and we have a really exciting partnership coming up uh, that you'll have to stay tuned for. So we are, but in the meantime, I thought I would throw in this video here of some cutworms that we had reemerge out of dormancy back in October of 2021. So this is about a year and a half ago. Usually they go into dormancy and burrow down into the ground and overwinter in the dirt. They come out of dormancy in the spring and hatch out of their chrysalis and turn into moths in the adult stage and then they'll lay their eggs and so on. Um, the, the eggs will hatch into larvae and, and the life cycle goes on. The life cycle of these cutworms is about 60 days. They go through their egg stage in about two to three weeks, then their uh, larva stage after they hatch out of the egg, they'll, they are larva. Um, they live in that stage for about two to three weeks. Then they form a chrysalis around themselves and, and that's the, called the pupa stage. They're in that for two to three weeks and then they emerge out of their chrysalis as a full grown moth and they're in that for about two to three weeks. The females will um, reach maturity to be able to lay eggs at about 10 days uh, into their adult cycle, adult life, part of their life cycle. And then they live for another week or two and then they um, die and then the next generation goes on. So give you a little background on what had was happening and it was the mid-October mid when we had a uh, warm spell come in and it got quite hot uh, for October. And so it confused all these cutworms that it was spring again. <laughs> so they came up and out of dormancy and just gorged themselves on this field. If I remember right, it was about 40 acres that they totally just decimated. So as soon as we finished filming this, we went through and cut as much as we could, as fast as we could, and in the hopes that the conditioner in the swather would uh, smash up as many of the worms as we could get. The species of cutworms that we were dealing with here was most likely army cutworms. I sent in pictures and videos to our local extension office and they were about 95% sure that these were cutworms, but um, where we couldn't send in an actual sample, they weren't couldn't give us 100% guarantee. But from the pictures and everything, that's pretty sure what we were dealing with. So in the, our research with it and what they told me is they generally, based on the temperature, the water amount of uh, moisture that we have throughout the year, food sources, and whatnot, they can go from anywhere from one generation in a season to up to four generations, meaning that they hatch, they have a life cycle from hatching to adulthood, then they lay eggs and then they hatch, go to adulthood and lay eggs. And so each generation, they can have anywhere from one to four generations in a season. So as they, um, after they hatch and they gorge themselves, just like in the hungry caterpillar, they will burrow down into the ground and form a chrysalis around themselves. They will emerge as adults and they'll climb out of the dirt and fly away and go on to their next phase of their life, which will be the adult phase of laying eggs and then carrying on the generations. This is what it should look like instead of what it, they've done bah, and what it bah, does look like. Bah, bah. There's some more. Go! Ow. There's some that hasn't made their co their cocoon yet. Mm -hmm. So this is some of the damage of the cutworms or caterpillars. We're not 100% sure what they are, but you can see how it just has turned it all to brown. It's stringy. It kills the plant. And they eat a bunch of tonnage off. So this, even a week ago, this looked fantastic. It's gonna be a nice big, great big crop and now it's turned to that. So here's some more video of the damage that they've done up close. So this is all just stems left. They've eaten all of the leaves off of this and then off the alfalfa and then the grass down here, it's just, just mutilated it. This is all nice, big, healthy, beautiful alfalfa that they've just come in and completely gorged themselves on and ruined. Man, that's sad. 
You got some more? There's a different. Oh, that's, that's the different worm. stages? Mm-hmm. A dead worm. They go, they go small. Oh, that one died? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's one in a cocoon. One fat one and one not fat one. Yep. Oh, you got one? You want okay. to eat a worm? What? Do you want to eat one? No, I don't. Do you? Well, Whoever protein? wants to eat it. Yeah, they are protein. They're good protein. Mm. Yep. Are I you going to eat it? Probably. Okay. What? It's up to you. So if you're going to do it, let me get a video of it. Okay. <laughs> this is a big... I'm going to get the juicy one. <laughs> this is a big Here, juicy move your hat one. so we can see what you're doing. Put your hat on backwards. Mommy, I Look want at me. that one. Hey. Is it yummy? Mm. Sweet. It's sweet. Juicy. That's what, it's that's, good. That's Ooh. where I found one. What do you think? Disgusting. That's where I found one. <laughs>